Hi, my name is Mike. This is part six and final part of Babylon the Great Analyzed. So we're going through, I spoke about the Vatican Rome, why I think it's not that, and now um, I speak about Israel, Jerusalem, why I, think I say it's not that Babylon, as um, Babylon will be a heap of ruins. And Jeremiah fifty thirteen, because of the Lord's anger, she will not be inhabited, but will be completely desolate. All who pass Babylon will be appalled. They will uh, scoff because all of her wounds. Isaiah thirteen nineteen. Babylon will be like Sodom and Gomorrah. She will be like uh, she will never be inhabited. Remember, Jesus rules from uh, Jerusalem. Remember Daniel eleven forty. And at the time of the end, the king of the south will attack the king of the north and invade many lands. Um, Jeremiah three seventeen. At that time, Jerusalem shall be called the throne of the Lord, and all nations shall gather to it, to the presence of the Lord in Jerusalem, and they shall no more stubbornly follow their own evil heart. Zechariah fourteen eleven states, it will be inhabited. It will never be inhabited. Never again will it be. It will be inhabited about Jerusalem. Never again will it be destroyed. Jerusalem will be secure. So Babylon, it says here, will be completely destroyed, like Sodom and Gomorrah. So it cannot be Israel or Jerusalem, because, like I said, it's not going to be destroyed, it says in Scripture, and Jesus will rule from there. Zechariah 14, 16-17. Then the survivors from all the nations that have attacked Jerusalem will go up year to year to worship the King, the Lord Almighty, and to celebrate the festival of tabernacles. If any of the peoples of the earth do not go up to Jerusalem to worship the King, the Lord Almighty, they will have no rain. So Jesus will rule from there. So it will not be destroyed. But if America was destroyed, the place where the world currency is, namely in New York, as according to the International Monetary Fund, the US dollar is the most popular world currency. It makes up to over 60% of all known central bank foreign exchange reserves. That makes it the de facto global currency. A new digital currency could be introduced if that fell. Plus America is the defender of Israel. So if America falls, that's when the true defender of Israel comes on the scene, Jesus Christ. Um, and I'll read that at Zechariah 14, 1 to 9. Let me just get that. Fourteen. So Zechariah 14, 1 to 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and to the city shall be taken, and the houses ruffled, and the women ravished, and the half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. This is the time after Babylon is destroyed, and the Gog and Magog war, then they come up against uh, Jerusalem, and Jesus defends it. It will, not become, it will not become a heap of ruins, like Babylon will be, America. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations, as when he fought in the day of battle. And his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof towards the west. And towards the west and there shall be a very great valley, valley. And half the mountain shall remove towards the north, half it towards the south. And you shall flee to the valley of the mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach Aziz. And um, it goes, uh, and the Lord my God shall come and all the saints with thee. And it shall come to pass in that day that the, the light shall not be clear nor dark, but it shall be one day which shall be known to the Lord, nor, not day nor night, but it shall come to pass that evening time it shall be light. <clears throat> and it shall be a day that living waters shall go out from Jerusalem, half of them toward the former sea, half of them toward the hinder sea. <clears throat> in the summer and the winter shall it be, 
and the Lord shall be king over all the earth in that day. There shall be one Lord and his name one. So Jesus will defend uh, Jerusalem uh, because America has fell the defender of Israel and Jerusalem. So Jesus comes as the defender to protect it against all the nations that come against it at the Gog and Magog war at the end. So I believe that America is Babylon the Great, Mystery Babylon, which will be destroyed in one hour or a short period of time by alliance of nations, as many nations hate America, destroyed by nuclear weapons is one hour, very short period of time. And once Israel's defender is out of the picture, Gog of Magog and other nations will eventually attack Israel. But that's when Jesus comes to the rescue, as you like said from Zechariah 14, 1 to 9. As after all, Satan wants Israel for his own. That's the ultimate goal, because Jesus is going to rule from there. But Satan wants Israel. That's always his goal, to take over. And what I'll do, I'll leave an ad as well from the World Economic Forum ad. And it says in the ad that America no longer would be a world power. And I'll leave it there and say, anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so in prayer repentance. God bless you all. Bye-bye.